Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use KeePass Password Manager. So, before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you start using KeePass here? Well, for you to start using KeePass, we first need to go to your official website, which is going to be keepass.info. Now, for you to install the app itself into your uh, PC, what we need to do is we need to go to the Getting Key Pass section, and from here, click on Downloads. Now, in the download section, you just need to choose the version that you want to get. So in this case, we have the installer here for 2.56. We also have the 1.42. In this case, I recommend you to get the latest one here, as well as the Windows installer here. Now, this is compatible with Windows 7, 8, 10, and 11, each 32 and 64 bit. It also supports Linux, Mac OS, and VCD. Now, if you want to install this via Linux, uh, there are going to be a different way, so I'll be showing you how to do this on Windows. In this case, it's going to click on Download Now. And from here, it's going to redirect us to this page here. So, in this case, what we need to do is we need to wait for the download to actually start. Now, from here, what we need to do next. Now here, what we need to do is we need to open up the exe file here and execute it. So double click on it and just click on run. Now from here, it's going to ask you if you really want to install it, just click on yes. And from here, choose your language. So by default, it's going to be English. Let's go and choose this one. And from here, it's going to give you the license agreement. Now in here, it is recommended that you read their license agreement here. But for now, let's, let's go ahead and just choose I accept the agreement and just click on next. Now from here, choose the location where you want to install the KeyPass application. So it is going to suggest me to program files here. So I'm going to just click on next. And from here, it's going to ask you to basically choose uh, what components you want to install. So we have the user manual here, native support library. We have Excel data sheets and KBX XML files, optimize key pass performance, optimize key pass startup performance. In this case, you could basically select, uh, select, uh, deselect any of the one here, but for now, let's go ahead and keep all of this. Just click on next. Now from here, it's going to ask you if you want to uh, associate key pass with TKDBX file extensions. And if you also want to create a desktop shortcut, let's go ahead and do that and just click on next. Now from here, it's going to give you an overview. Let's go ahead and click on install. And that should start the installation process. Now from here, let's just wait for it to complete. Now from here, it's going to ask you if you want to uh, launch the KeePass application here. Let's go ahead and do that and just click on finish. Now from here, what we need to do is we want to click on the enable uh, option here for automatic updates or if you want to disable this one. Let's go ahead and click on enable. Now from here, you should now be able to see KeePass. Now in this case, uh, for you to start using it, what we need to do first is we need to create a new file. So let's go ahead and click on new and uh, file here. And from here, let's go ahead and choose new. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to create a database. So in this case, we want to click on OK to create our database. And we want to choose a location where we want to uh, basically put our database. So for example, let's just say this is going to be a uh, uh, name this. You could name this any anything you want. But I'm going to keep this as database as an example. Just click on save. And we now need to set our master password. So your master password here is really important because you'll be using this a lot of the time. So if you lose access on your master password, then you won't be able to use your database here or you won't be able to access the database again. So for now, let's just enter a master password that I want to use. And from here, let's go ahead and re-enter it again. Also, it's giving you the option to see how much of the quality it is, like 24 bits. So the more it has more bits, the more secure it is. So it is recommended that you get more here. But for now, let's go ahead and re-enter it. Now, again, if your password is pretty weak, it's going to say the specified password is uh, weak. Are you sure you want to use this, ma this master password? So it is, again, it is recommended that you get you use a really strong password. But for now, let's go ahead and click on yes. Now from here, we need to enter our database name. So for example, this is going to be my vault. And from here, we have our database description. So you can enter any description here. Like for example, if you're using this for personal use, make sure to indicate that this, this, is, this vault is for a personal use or this database is for personal use. Now we also have the security tab here, which in this case, you should, you should be able to change the encryption, key transformations and whatnot, and even attributions here. 
you have the compressions if you want to use gzip or none our recycle bin here is in this case our uh, recycle bin group automatically create new so in this case you'll be able to use recycle bin or not depending on how you select it also have the advanced options if you want to change a few things on your database so in this case uh, you could change a custom color for your database but for now let's just set this to blue click on the ok button here and from here, it's going to say emergency sheet. Now, it is recommended that you print your uh, emergency uh, sheet here just in case that you lose access on uh, your uh, master, uh, master, uh, master password or if you're unable to access your database. It is recommended that you print this out, but if you want to skip this for now, let's go ahead and click on skip. Now, from here, you should be able to see your current um, database. Now, in your database, you have general, we have Windows, network, internet, email, and home banking. So the these are the general uh, uh, divisions or categories for your database. So you click on the DB, database option here. This is going to be the sample entries that you could get. So for example, if you want to add a new one, you could go ahead and click on the new option here. Again, create a new database if you want to. So in this case, if you want to add a new entry here, like for example, in the general database section, you just click, click on it and just click on the add entry option. Now the add entry option, you have the option to add the title for the specific uh, entry or you want to uh, use or manage. Like for example, it is going to be for Facebook. And you also have need, you need to also enter the username itself. So for example, this is going to be the username here and the password is going to be a password. Now, you also need to repeat your password here. Now, if you want to view your password, just click on the three uh, dotted icon here, and that should be able to view that password, and that would actually copy it in the repeat section. Now, you also have the option to add a URL for that website and add notes on it and how long it's going to expire. Now, if you want to make it expire, make sure to choose this one. And from here, just click on OK. So by the way, the expire option, that will, that will actually mean that your password or credential here is no longer valid. So if you want to uh, enable that, you could go ahead and do that. For now, let's go ahead and click on OK to add our entry. And as you can see, we now have our entry. Now, if you want to edit it, just right click on that specific entry. And from here, you have the option to copy username, copy password, URLs. If you want to open this via Google Chrome or any browser you have, other data, if you go into copy the title or notes, if you want to edit the entry, just click on edit current entry, duplicate entry or delete entry itself. If you want to edit it, just click on edit. And again, you should be able to change those details. Now, same thing when you go to general or windows here. So for example, when you go to, uh, for example, this is just an example. When you go to email here, you just right click on it, just add an entry. So same thing, you just add to add your title, username, password, uh, repeat for that password. And the quality is what's going to look like. Now, if you want to uh, access the advanced options here, like for example, the advanced, like adding string fields or file attachments, if you add, want to add them. So for example, if you have like, for example, an Excel file or document file that you want to associate with, you could basically attach them into this file. And also if you want to add like string fields, so string fields are going to be uh, specific uh, neat, uh, fields that you want to use. So for example, it's going to be a sample string so if you want to basically add your custom fields, this is how you do it. So this is going to be the value. In this case, you could go ahead and use the protect value in process memory. But for now, let's just click on OK. And as you can see, we now have our uh, custom entry here. We also have our properties here. If you want to change the custom background for color, the background, uh, co background color, again, the tags override URLs. So if you want to use a specific browser, any plugin data here, auto type if you want to enable that and also history. So if you made any changes on the specific entry as well. So in this case, you will, if you want to save this, just click on OK. You should be able to save that as you can see right now. Now, by the way, if you want to add additional features into your key pass here, just go back to the website and want to go to the key, getting key pass section and going to plug ins extensions. Now from here, there are going to be a lot of extensions that you could get here to add more utility or more um, functionality into your key pass here. So the crazy thing about KeePass here, it's actually free or it's actually a software that every, everyone can use and everyone can actually develop. So it's open source. Now, for example, if you want to add like OTP on it, you could use the KeePass OTP here. If you want to add browser integrations or any type of integrations, this is where you will be able to get those plugins. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.